Hello everyone, I am Alexandra. I am Pete. And this is the White Sox Cinema Club. So today we are watching... Oppenheimer. Yes. Was I supposed to say it? No, or were but you waiting? it oh. worked well. Okay. okay. I'm really excited for this. I, I, I wanted to see this in the movies, but I, I, I never found a good good tickets for IMAX, so I never watched it. But, but you know, we've got a good setup here. we got a, a big 4K monitor here and uh, the, the 4K digital uh, copy of it, which came out here a couple of days ago, so we're finally getting to do this. I'm really excited. I'm a big Christopher Nolan fanboy. Um, you haven't seen any Christopher Nolan movies, if I'm correct? Uh, I'm not sure. One, one thing uh, maybe good to know about uh, Christopher Nolan going in, that he, he likes to play with like storytelling timeline, because I, I think like every single movie of his, except like the Batman movies, have like non-linear timeline storytelling, if I'm right now I'm trying to think of it. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's correct. Uh, so yeah, uh, anyway, Oppenheimer, ready to settle in here for a, for a three hour epic, are you? I am, of course. Okay, good. Yeah. Let's get into it. Yes, but before we get into it, remember on Patreon you can see the full version of this reaction. We also have a website, whitesockcinemaclub.com. You can go there, you can find all the Patreon links easier, easy to navigate, you can find anything you want over there and then click the links and go wherever you want to go. But for now, let's go with Oppenheimer. Oh, wow, he looks traumatized. That goes hard. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Dr. Oppenheimer. Oh, he's being trialed? Not just a doctor. No, not quite. Question? Honestly, I forget. Oh. The whole hearing took a month. An ordeal. It's your favorite, man. Oppenheimer still divides America. The committee's gonna want to know where you stood. I thought Berkeley had the leading theoretical physics department. Uh, yes, once I built it. Oof. Wow. We have you there than in America. What are these questions? Loki. No. Personal. I was homesick, um, emotionally immature, troubled by visions of a hidden universe. Yikes. Oh no. What a klutz. Boy, <laughs> I need to go to the lecture, sir. It's Mills Bohr. Yeah, I've heard that name. All right, <clears throat> let's go. I am not sure. You <laughs> You finish coaching us, please. Oh no, he's getting bullied. No. By the teacher. Yeah, well, they do that. Cyanide? No, I've heard about this. Is he gonna poison his teacher? Allegedly, he poisoned his teacher's apple. You don't see a hidden universe while you sleep? Try to sleep. Thankfully, I don't. I don't want to be uh, that conscious. Oh, Horsey. it's a horse. How oh, did he get regrets? I guess. Like, is he like Loki uh, insane? The same question. Uh, Harvard, yes, and you asked <gasps> the same question. No. I'd like your answer. Go somewhere they let you think. Where's that? Go think it. I'll send word. Wormhole. Hmm. Algebra's like sheet music. The important thing isn't can you read music, it's can you hear it. Can you hear the music, Robert? Yes, I can. I can't. So he didn't poison anyone? In no. Me. No, no. No, no one died. It's just said that he poisoned an apple. Ah. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. I feel bad for the kind of emotional tor turmoil he is in. Yeah, it's about to be much more emotional turmoil. <laughs> I am glad I am not like a genius. Well. What? Hey. Why? It's uh, for science purpose. Uh, yeah, must be. Admiral Strauss, I'm interested in your relationship with Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer. It's like puzzle pieces coming together in this movie, I can feel it. Yeah. An honor. Mr. Strauss. It's pronounced Strauss. Strauss? The position comes with that house for you and your wife and your two children. Oh, he yeah. has a wife now. A self-made man. Oh, I can relate to that. Really? Yes, my father was one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told he's there most afternoons. Who's that? I'm not sure. 
greatest scientific mind of our time. Einstein published the theory of relativity hmm. more than I chose to sell shoes. Louis Strauss was once a lowly shoe salesman. No, just a shoe salesman. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to introduce you. I've known him for years. Hmm. He looks a bit mad that he already knew him. Yeah, Einstein. Oh. This is like the scientist adventures. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Albert. Oh, is he mad at him? What did you say to him? Oh, he's fine. Well, the purpose of this institute is to provide a haven for independent minds. This is one of the most prestigious appointments in the country. Yes, in the great commute. That's why I'm considering. The disrespect. Yeah. But just then I was entirely consumed with what he must have said to Einstein to sour him on me. <laughs> but later? Well, we all know what happened later. I don't. I don't know either. After Göttingen, I moved on to Leiden in Holland where I first met Isidore Rabi. Do you know Isidore Rabi? No, I never heard. Let me know if you need any help with the English. <laughs> so arrogant. Hey, the bull sing to us an alpha del chain in at home. Oh, multi, multi uh, language man. Yeah. We're a couple of New York Jews. How do you know Dutch? Well, I thought I'd better learn it when I got here this semester. Genius. Did we get the feeling our kind isn't entirely welcome here? Because it's a <laughs> the department. They're all Jewish, too. What year is this? Hitler already in power in Germany? He was for a pretty long time, right? Mm. But probably not here yet. It's like, yeah, it's much earlier. Quantum world. I have to get back to America. Why? Hmm. There's no one there taking quantum mechanics seriously. That's exactly why. Oh. I didn't know this much. It's interesting. Did you ever encounter Heisenberg again? Yeah. Not impressed. But I'm confused about the speeding. What is it? He's being questioned by some yeah. paths crossed. Do you think that anyone was like afraid of his genius? I hear you want to start a school of quantum theory. I am starting it next door. But oh, I must have missed the Lo Mr. Lomelitz. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is it. Please. Oh, I feel bad for him. Just like one. Yeah. What do you know about quantum mechanics? But it is. It's paradoxical, and yet it works. I I don't understand. You don't have to understand. I I wish I could. It, because like the. Natural sciences are kind of like the best to study because you get the answers from the nature itself. Oh, more students. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. Mr. Snyder. You shouldn't let them bring their politics in the classroom, Abby. I wrote that. <laughs> Keep it out of the lab. How would these activities have come to the attention of the FBI? The FBI was taking license plates outside suspected communist gatherings and his name popped up. Suspicious. Oh, is it like an FBI? Oh, behind you, boy. Jack, Jesus oh, Christ. okay, it's not an enemy. Uh, you remember Jackie? It's the communist gathering. Robert. Probably. To meet Pleasure. This is my little brother Frank, and oh. this is still Jackie. Oh. Danny, but I hadn't heard you were a party member. But I'm not. Oh, not yet. Look at what the Nazis are doing to the Jews. I send funds to colleagues in Germany to emigrate. I have to do something. He was just trying to do good things. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Well, if you're going to send money to Spain, do it through the Communist Party. They can get it to the front lines. Where are you sending with these? MG. Oh, it's the... I forgot her name. Florence Pugh. Yes. Robert here says he's not a communist. Well, then he doesn't know enough about it. I think it's my first time seeing her with different color hair. Property, not ownership. I'm sorry, I read it in the original German. <laughs> yeah. I'm committed to thinking freely about how to improve our world. Knew it. When I was in postgrad at Cambridge, I had a little trouble. I'll bite. I tried to poison my tutor. <laughs> you just needed to get laid. What's this? Sanskrit. You can read this? Oh, he knows a lot of languages. Yeah. And now I am become the destroyer of worlds. Oh, it's the it's the meme part. Meme part, the quote. Yes. Why is the quote a meme? Haven't you seen the memes? I haven't seen the memes. I don't know what you're talking about. You haven't seen the slop Benheimer meme. Have you heard the quote before? No. Okay. I don't think so. I am not much of a nature science girly. No. Unfortunately, tried to be but failed. Are they doing an experiment? 
Are you getting drunk? Why would you go all the way there to get drunk? The feeling, you know? Camping with friends. I feel like I could see one of those dark stars that you're working on. Can't. That's the whole point. <laughs> Gravity swallows light. I love how he's like so... What is it called? Like a, this fact machine. Thought if I could find a way to combine physics and New Mexico, my life would be perfect. Wow. New Mexico? Yeah, he likes being in New Mexico. Oh. His home, that's what he said. Tomorrow we'll climb it. What's it called? Los Alamos. <gasps> Los Alamos? Yeah. He'll figure it out. Huh. What's happening? Alvarez? What's happening? Did he get a haircut and run? <laughs> When you don't like the haircut, so you run. They've done it. Han and Strassman in Germany. They split the uranium nucleus. Oh. Not possible. It's necessary. Okay, sir. I'm gonna try to reproduce it. Well, good luck. What? <laughs> Can't be done. <laughs> There's just one problem. Where? Next door. They did Alvarez it? Alvarez did it. Wow. Theory will take you only so far. Extra neutrons boil off, which could be used to split other uranium atoms. Chain reaction. I'm sweat. What do we all think? <laughs> A bomb. No more fucking flowers. What? I don't want anything from you. Oh, poor him. September 1st, 1939. The world's gonna remember this day. <laughs> okay. Closer to World War II. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> But after Hitler invaded Russia and we became allies, these communist sympathies, do they return? No. For a year or two, during a previous marriage, my wife Kitty had been a Communist Party member. It's not the same girl. No. You're married to Dr. Harrison. Kent. Not very. Not very married. To my ranch with friends. You should come. I meant with your husband. Yes, you did. Because you know it won't make a bit of difference. <laughs> Scandal. Romantic. Beautiful views. I didn't want you to hear from anyone else. Is he like breaking up with her? I don't think so. I think it's just, yeah, I'm fucking someone else too. What a playboy. It's a door closing. No. You can... Not as far as I'm concerned, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Is your no, his life's a mess. You think the rules don't apply to the golden boy? How is his life a mess? You don't think so? No. He gets a married woman pregnant while he's having an affair with another woman? I know what the project is. Oh, really? We've all heard about Einstein and Siller's letter to Roosevelt warning him the Germans could make a bomb, and I know what it means for the Nazis to have a bomb. Well, so I guess he will make a bomb to, like, counter-attack. Like, not counter-attack, but just be safe. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for him. Because you're not just self-important, you're actually important. Because he has the bomb in his head. Yeah. Why were his communist associations not seen as a security risk during the war? Senator, I can't possibly answer if it wasn't me. I brought the charges against Robert. I mean, he was a rabid anti-communist named Borton. He wrote hmm. to the FBI demanding they take action. So salty. Yeah. Reading Oppenheimer's security file of his communist brother or sister. Yeah. Before we even get to the Chevalier incident. What, what is the Chevalier incident? I'm sure we'll find out. These isotopes could be useful to our enemies in the production of atomic weapons. Less useful than electronic components, but more useful than a sandwich. <laughs> I love him ridiculing. Mm. Yeah. Kitty? Oh, yeah. Kitty. Kitty's just getting drunk, huh? Why is the baby just crying? Didn't you go to him? I have been going to him all fucking day. Oh, she's like a housewife in the end. The thing that she was like annoyed about in the first place. Yeah. Take Peter. What? Sure. For, for a while. Hook. A while. Did they give the baby away? For a while at least. Colonel Groves, this is Lieutenant Colonel Nichols. Have that dry clean. Well, if that's how you treat a colonel, I'd hate to see how you treat a humble <laughs> physicist. Oh, if I ever meet one, I'll let you know. <laughs> wow. Now I'm looking for a project director. And my name came up. Nope. You're a dilettante, a womanizer, a suspected communist. Wow. A Democrat. I said suspected. <laughs> He's the smartest. He's the best. 
That's all that matters, I guess. Yeah. Hitler called quantum physics Jewish science. Our one hope is that Hitler is so so blinded by hate that he's denied Heisenberg proper resources. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Somebody with your past doesn't want to be seen downplaying the importance of security from our communist allies. No. <laughs> you don't get to say no. My job is to say no to you when you're wrong. <laughs> so you have the job now? That's funny. Uh, I'm considering it. Hmm. He is very young. Uh, Egotistical? Well, well, not quite, but what's the word? Non humble. Mm -hmm. But I can run the Manhattan Project. Manhattan. The beginning of All America's the end. Industrial might and scientific innovation. You want security? Build a town? Build a town. Hidden town. Where? Wow. Oh, it's. Yeah, it's Los Alamo. Yeah. Success. They're actually gonna build it fast. Yep, they wow. have to. Build them a town. Fast. Wow! Build him a town. Does that like city like still exist? But, I mean, it's not built to be a lasting city, you know. It's just. Mm. A... I mean, it as like a historical like. But there's probably like a city there, yeah, for sure. It's not desert anymore. This is the most important fucking thing that ever happened in the history of the world. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fun. When's this place supposed to? Nice open? suit. Yeah. No, it's a military-looking man. Robert, yeah. You drop a bomb that falls on the just and the unjust. I don't wish the culmination of three centuries of physics to be a weapon of mass destruction. I agree with him. But if you don't do it, the Nazis will. That's true. It must be, yeah, very, really fucking hard. Yeah. Especially for, like, scientists, you know. Take off that ridiculous uniform. You're a scientist. Suit up. Yeah. Oh no, he's got his iconic hat. Yeah, and the pipe. Yeah. So fancy. When I calculated the chain reaction, I found a rather troubling possibility. Albert. Mm. Oh. Does that happen? I like Albert really, they really nailed the yeah. actors. Yeah. Whose work is this? Tellers. It's time the chain reaction doesn't stop. That's scary. When we detonate an atomic device, we might start a chain reaction that destroys the world. That's so scary. Certainty. And I Can you couldn't know what actually happens when you do it. But that's crazy that they actually thought that it's a possibility that it destroys the whole fucking world when you ignite it. The chances of an uncontrolled nuclear reaction are near zero. Near zero. Well, that's kind of scary. Apparently, the government's not sharing any research with the Russians. Hmm. He said most scientists think the policy is stupid. Good thing you didn't. That if anyone had anything they wanted to pass on, going around official channels, that he could help. Suspicious. So I guess this will be the accident. Well, incident. He's more of a communist sympathizer. And I am certain that he had no idea of the work in which I was engaged. Hmm. Why would they have another child? I guess we'll find out. She's so disgusted with it. <laughs> Gadget will need a 33 pound sphere about this size. Here's the amount of uranium oak which refined all of last month. Instead of uranium or plutonium, we use hydrogen. Heavy hydrogen. Deuterium. So how do you generate enough force to fuse hydrogen atoms? A small fission bomb. There we are. <laughs> what were you guys doing at Los Alamos? Was the security tight? Of course it was. You weren't there. Forgive me, Doc. They suspect he helped the Russians make it because they got it so fast after the war. Meet the British contingent. What's Oppenheimer? Klaus Fuchs. How long have you been British? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to bring my brother here. No. Uh, he's too communist. Yeah. The Russians have a bomb. Truman needs to know what's next. What's next? Arms talks. Arms talks. Obviously. But who leaked it? Well, they could have just figured it out on their own. And if the Russians know about it already from a spy at Los Alamos, then we gotta get going. There's no proof there was a spy at Los Alamos. He's really... So defensive, too defensive. Yeah. The first self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction. Wait, what? What the hell? doing in Chicago? Why? Because we, we have every right. You have just the rights. 
that I give Yikes. We are adults trying to run a project here. He can't even look him in the eyes. Oh. I quit. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Better off without him. Hmm. I don't think so. Concerned about his discretion out there? We'll have him killed. What? I think it's a joke. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> but what was that thing in Chicago? There was like the radiation sound. They said first self self-sustaining nuclear reaction. Hmm. Mm. I'm not smart enough to understand what it all means. I'm just following, you know, the general. What they say. Yeah. This way, gentlemen. The music is so good. Yeah, I mean, everything is so good. Yeah, of course. Of course. Imagine seeing this at the cinema, it would be. <laughs> it's filling up. Yeah. Your queue clearance came through. It's important you not maintain or renew any questionable associations. Don't be talking to the commies. <laughs> Are they following him? If they are, they're not being very discreet. Yeah. I've had a lot of secrets in my head. From Flowers. Is it Jean? Doesn't matter who I sure. associate with, I don't... Is she gonna throw them in the trash? <laughs> <laughs> what did you have to see her? She had indicated a great desire to see me. It's his wife right behind him. Did you find out why she had to see you? <clears throat> well, oh. <laughs> He feels like as he is stripped naked, right? Yeah. She was still in love with me. No comment. Yes. What a mess. Yep. I'd rather be here for you as you need. Man whore. Yeah, he is a man whore. <laughs> but I can't see you again. Oh. <laughs> Kitty, I didn't say anything that I hadn't already told you. Today you said it to history, didn't you? This is a closed hill. Well, it is history now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This time there's another man. Do we know him? Pash. Pash. I don't think so yet. Pash? Could it be Russian like Pasha? A man attached to the Soviet Council indicated to people on this project that he was in a position to transmit information. Well, why would anyone on the project want to do that? Frankly, I can see that there might be an argument for the commander-in-chief informing the Russians they're our allies after all, but... And you said that to Pash. Boris Pash is the son of a Russian Orthodox bishop. This is a man who has killed communists with his own hands. Oh. <laughs> it's my business to stop it from going... But I knew that he was like, uh, you know... Russian? Yeah. yeah. Pash. Pasha. I admitted to him that I'd like to Pash. This is a whole mess. Do you recall this conversation about the Chevalier incident? Wasn't confused before, but I'm certainly getting there. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> It's a lot. Might we know through whom the contact was made? And when did you receive the name? I was gone by the time Oppenheimer finally offered it up. Gone. General Groves. He transferred me to London. Huh. Oh no, it's almost full. Yeah, getting closer. This Christmas party is the bomb. Early Christmas present for you all. Boar. Is it big enough to end the war? To end the war. Well... Well... The power you're about to reveal will forever outlive the Nazis. You are an American Prometheus. The man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. It's scary. Yeah. It's a lot. Sorry, Oppie, but there's a call from San Francisco. Who's that? Your father called. She killed herself. We were together. That's... She said she needed me, I... That's tragic. You don't get to commit the sin, and then I was all feel sorry for you that it had consequences. Good. Girl boss. People here depend on you. I'm engaged in research. On a hydrogen bomb, we're not even building! Wait, he, uh, will he end? I won't work for that man. Kisti, you replace Nedemar. Seth, I'm putting you on plutonium. Lily, you go work for Kisti. No one... He's leaving Los Alamos. He resolved that quite quickly. Yeah, I gotta be on it. Yeah, have to. You're a politician now, Robert. You've left physics behind many, many years ago. Oh, that that must have hit him. Yeah. It's a weapon of attack with no defensive value. Deterrence. Deterrence. Do we really need more deterrence than our current arsenal? Just keep getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. How would you have Truman reassure the American people? Simply by limiting the spread of atomic weapons through international control on nuclear energy. 
Los Alamos. No spy at Los Alamos. Gentlemen, no, wasn't. let's not get side. Him being too defensive is not good. He should, like, think there is a possibility. When Hitler blew his brains out in that bunker, it is my humble opinion that there is no need for that bomb to see anywhere. Okay, yeah, this is after. Yeah. After Germany's fall. So now it's just against Japan. For the Japanese fight hot. Their defeat seems assured. Not if you're a GI preparing to invade. Yikes. How do we justify using this weapon on human beings? We're theorists. Yes? Is he going full on insane? Is he the one who... Imaginings? Who was like behind the trappings on Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Of course not. Even if he said that, nobody would listen to him. It's the president, politicians will decide it. Yeah. Oh no, it's full. Progress? Two years and a billion dollars worth? Birth control is a little out of my jurisdiction, John. <laughs> Oh, oh no, she's, she's pregnant again. Why? For what? She is the child. <laughs> what do we call the test? Bad of my heart. Three person God. What? Trinity. <sighs> it's scary. Yeah. Just because we're building it doesn't mean we get to decide how it's used. Yeah. History will judge us, Robert. Brave of them to like think there will be like a history behind them, you know? Yeah. Well, they're right. Fermi's in the meeting. Lars is in the meeting. They're not you. You're the great salesman of science. You can convince anyone of anything. It's kind of not fair how they put their responsibility like just... Yeah, on everything on him. Yeah. Mostly civilians. Will he go insane? For sure. He's already kind of going insane. We have a list of 12 cities to choose from. Sorry, 11. Didn't they want to choose like Kyoto? Kyoto yeah. Off the list due to its cultural significance to the Japanese people. Also, my wife and I honeymooned there. Bruh. <laughs> Indeed. I know that like the Kyoto was supposed to be there, but then they took it off. The use of the atomic bomb on Japanese cities will save lives. Can you give us a working bomb by then? Absolutely. We will test fire before the conference. Yikes. Where will they test it? Ground zero, there. observation oh, yeah. post. It's happening. Yeah. You can the hear kind of like the radiation Which sound, one? no? Yeah. It's haunting me from the Chernobyl episodes. Oh, yeah. And the final piece. Indeed. Is that in case it actually drops? Or <laughs> yeah. But. Before they're ready. It's really giving me anxiety. I feel like, oh, go. They're not far away enough. Yeah. But did I not get any of them sick from radiation? I, I, I don't know. It's happening, isn't it? Indeed. It's gone our way. Taking the sheets. It's a complicated looking device. <laughs> or gadget, as they call it. 20,000 20, tons of DNT. Are they betting on how big the explosion is yeah. going to be? <laughs> Recognition. <laughs> Bro, they're honestly insane. It just has to be rainy, like for that dramatic effect. Yeah, of course. But was it actually like this the day of the? For sure, I think so. Yeah. I think everything's There's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world. It's the most remote possibility. <laughs> How remote? Chances are near zero. <laughs> near zero. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? That's true. One hour, 58 minutes. Well, no. So fucking scary. Yeah. Do you think that like scientists are doing that shit right now or something like that? Hey, we're just gonna make like, I don't know. I have something, but we'll discuss it afterwards because I have a long, long discussion. Take a class. So that, that it doesn't... So you can look at it directly uh, and also yeah. it doesn't burn your eyes. Kind of like when you're looking at a, what is it called, like a mm. <coughs> eclipse. That's suspense. Yeah. Even though we know what will happen. How are they not screaming, crying, throwing up before this, like all this? <laughs> I'm sure they are inside. Yeah. 90 seconds to detonate. Scary. Yeah. Is it what then? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Putting sunscreen. I don't know if it's gonna help me. Yeah, they don't know much about radiation at this point. I mean, they know about, but like, much less than what we know now. I 
like how there's no sound. Crazy, crazy. Whew. Whew, indeed. Horrible. It's a big, big bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it works. And now I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Yep. That's the code. Jesus. Indeed. Because it's so far away. You know, it takes time for sun to travel. Yeah. He's happy. Not everyone is happy. Some people look like they're in shock, you know. Yeah. Well, he's just happy that the whole world didn't blow up. <laughs> Only ten dollars! Oh. What? Ten dollars? And they were betting on the size of the... how many oh, kilotons yeah. the explosion was. Well, he's here or no, I guess. To them. Yeah. No, he just said to tell you to bring in the sheets. <laughs> Respect, Dr. Oppenheimer. We'll take it from here. And now they've got the bombs. Jumped yeah. ahead a bit. Robert, we've given them an ace. It's for them to play the hand. Should I come with you to Washington? What for? Nuclear war, perhaps. All war becomes unthinkable. Until somebody builds a bigger one. Literally. <laughs> Why did they even like think that? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I understand why they built it, but I don't understand how they thought that that would be the end. No, of course they're, they're gonna yeah. build bigger, worse. I thought they would call. He looks it's dead. And it's the sixth. Mm. He's not even, he's just home while they're using it. Yeah, I really feel bad for him. Anything? An American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima. And this is when the world hears about it. Yeah. It is the of the basic powers of the universe. It went all right. Apparently, it went with a tremendous bang. It's been a long road. It's tough. I think one of the wisest yeah. things I ever did was when I selected the director of Los Alamos. More than two billion. Is he the only person feeling remorse? Well, he feels personally responsible, everyone else is just like they're part of the project, you know? True. And everyone is like, this is all thanks to you, you know? Yeah. Oh, not the sound. Is he going to get triggered? I feel really bad for him. Like, what do you say? Looks We're like old. he will cry anyway. Like, yeah. Well, remember this day. It's like his con like it's consciousness too to, crumbling. Yeah. It's too soon to determine. Oh God. It's really good for the shock. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. He's getting really fucked up. Yikes. It's, it's really grotesque. of the atomic bomb. President Truman will see you now. Always meeting the president. Your invention uh, let us bring our boys home. Well, it was hardly. It was. You are the cover of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Do you know when the Soviets are going to have the bomb? I don't think I could give it. Never. Hmm. Why, why, why are they always so ignorant? Yeah. They don't like that his... Um. More. Dr. Oppenheimer, we have to build up Los Alamos, not shut it down. I feel that I have blood on my hands. Yeah. You think anyone in Hiroshima gives a shit who built the bomb? They care who dropped it. Well, I guess that's true. Yeah, kind of. Don't let that crybaby back in here. <gasps> Bruh! Used his profile. 
how to team Flint's boss. None of that. Stop Robert from pushing the GAC to recommend arms control instead of the H bomb. Uh, my son and his fiance are desperate to be the father of the atomic bomb, so. What a shit show. <laughs> Is this a bad time? What do you think, Lewis? I think it must have been a blow for you. <laughs> no. Oh dear. You haven't heard. What? What happened now? Klaus Fuchs. Turns out he was. <gasps> I was spying for the Soviets the whole time. I'm sorry. That's a yikers. So the Soviets got the... Yeah, they had a spy. He's followed everywhere. There's trash picked through. Yeah, now they want to see if he had something to do with it. So he had to lose his security clearance. And with it, his credibility. But how could they do it? What a suspicious character. Yeah. This man is. Lewis brought you to Princeton. And then you humiliated him in front of Congress. But more useful than his sandwich. It was six years ago. You know, the truly vindictive, patient. <laughs> was he the main villain all this time? Mm -hmm. You gave the file to Borden. You set him on Oppenheimer. Take your time, use the entire file. Write up your conclusions, send them to the FBI. You gave him the file about all his comments, past and everything. Oh. There's nothing new here. Your conclusions will be, and they'll have to be answered. Whoever passes them to McCarthy? And McCarthy is like the president who was like the most against oh, communism. Yeah. Like, yeah. We need a systematic destruction of Oppenheimer's credibility so he can never again... So vindictive. Yeah. No burden of proof. Of course. No burden of proof. Yeah. Isn't that handy? Yeah. I'm sorry it's come to this, Robert. He's already a broken man. Your friend, Hakon Chevalier, the communist. Is he still your friend? Yes. Yikes! Is he... Wrong answer. Everyone is turning on him. You and Ruth Tolman have been having an affair for years. Has he? He convinced Lawrence that Richard died of a broken heart. That's absurd. What's the heart? A broken heart. Oh. Okay. She never found out. <laughs> man or what the hell? Honestly. During your investigation into Dr. Oppenheimer, did you reach certain conclusions? I did. He's a commie. His conclusions are valid testimony, just like the, the positive conclusions of friends of Dr. Oppenheimer. It cuts both ways. Oh, God. They really got him good. Yeah. More probably than not, J. Robert Oppenheimer is an agent of the Soviet Union. What? Actually. All conclusions are justified. Oh, God. Based on what? More probably than not, he has since been functioning as an espionage agent. I feel so bad for him. Look at the United look States at him. military yeah. policy. Is anyone policy. ever going to tell the truth about what's happening here? Thankfully, yes. I've been asked to testify about Louis Strauss, a man who has given. I wonder what will he say? Most of the scientists in this country would prefer to see Mr. Strauss completely out of government. Uh -huh. Good, as, as, as you should. No, because of the personal vindictiveness oh. he demonstrated against Dr. Oppenheimer. Huh? Okay, finally someone is standing up for him. No board in this country should sit in judgment of a man because he expressed strong opinions. The Oppenheimer matter was initiated and carried through largely through the animus of Louis Strauss. Yes, fuck him. Oppenheimer made mincemeat out of Strauss's position on the shipment of isotopes to Norway and Strauss never forgave him. <laughs> Strauss turned to the personnel security system in order to destroy Oppenheimer's effectiveness. Spill the truth. Yeah. In a great number of cases, I have seen Dr. Oppenheimer act in a way which was, to me, exceedingly hard to understand. Oh, no. I want to see the vital interests of this country in hands which I understand better. What does that mean? That he doesn't trust Oppenheimer. No! Well, they had a lot of disagreements. You shook his fucking hand? <laughs> Elevia. Spit in his face. I'm not sure the board would have... God, she sounds like me. She's aggressive <laughs> like me. They... Under the current AEC guidelines, would you clear Dr. Oppenheimer today? This is interesting. I would not clear him today uh, if I were on the... 
Of course. Yeah. But I don't think I'd clear any of those guys. Uh huh. That's all. Wait, what? Yeah, he doesn't care about that. He just wants those words. And you wouldn't want to leave this board with any suggestion today that you're here questioning his basic loyalty to the United States. By no means. I hope I didn't lead anyone to believe otherwise for an instant. They don't care. They already got the statement they need one for out of him. Yeah. I believe the whole thing's linked together and spread all over the world. And I have believed this since I left the party 16 years ago. But 17 years ago. My mistake. But destroy him. 18. 18 years ago. Did you know this money was going into Communist Party channels? Don't you mean through? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to answer that yes or no. You can answer that any way you wish. <laughs> I know that. Thank you. It's your question. It's not properly phrased. <laughs> I love that she's destroying him. Yeah. It's Albert. Perhaps you should turn your back on her. He's... Mm. Damn it, I happen to love this country. Then tell them to go to hell. <laughs> Simple. Why would Hill come here to tear me down? What's his angle? Do people need a reason to do the right thing? <gasps> Oh my god. Oppenheimer poisoned scientists against me right from that first meeting. I don't know what Oppenheimer said during that day. Oh no no. I'm sure we'll find out. So when did these moral bombs become so strong that you actively oppose the development of the hydrogen bomb? When it was suggested that it be the policy of the United States to make these <laughs> What is the point of questioning him about this? Like he was he was given a job. Yeah. It's not like he was like I want to do this. I want to kill these people. Yeah. If he could do it all over, he'd do it all the same. You know he's never once said that he regrets Hiroshima? He'd do it all over. Why? What? Because it made him the most important man. He's talking about himself. I feel like he's just talking about like his envy of, you know, him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, then you knew, did you not, that by dropping that atomic bomb on the target, you selected? He selected! Or injured, is that correct? How many were killed in the room? 70,000. 70,000 in both Hiroshima and... 110,000 in both. It's all part of his plan. Oh. He wanted the glorious, insincere guilt of the self-important to wear like a fucking crown. Jelly is almost jealous. Even as he knew, we It's like, stop it before we get a heart attack. Job. I was not in a policy-making position at those moments. Literally. If we did it, they would have to do it. Our efforts would only fuel their efforts just as it had with the atomic bomb. Just as it had with the atomic bomb, exactly. That was intense. It was. To deny the renewal of your security clearance. A full written opinion with a dissent from Mr. Evans. Horrible. I'm denied. Yeah? I'm afraid so, sir. All right. Well, at least. <laughs> Who were the holdouts? Uh, Kennedy. Oh. At least they got some of his reputation back in that uh, hearing, I think. Yeah. I told you. He turned the scientists against me one by one, starting with Einstein. I told you about that. Uh, uh, Einstein. I said, <laughs> he sounds demented. Yeah. That is it possible they didn't talk about you at all? <laughs> oh. I guess we will know. Yeah. Or... And one day, when they punished you enough, they'll serve you salmon and potato salad. Mm, old man. Oh. If you are medal. Frank, you are happy or happy. Oh. Uh, he got his reputation back. Yeah. But Albert I was jump right. Back, tell you all is forgiven. It won't be for you. Is he not gonna shake his hand? Oh, he is. Hmm. It will be for them. <laughs> Trying not to spit at him. <laughs> Love yeah. that. When I came to you with those calculations, we thought we might start a chain reaction that would destroy the entire world. I remember it well. What happened? I believe we did. Chain reaction, like one person starts and then another one builds bigger yeah, and bigger. Yeah, yeah. Nuclear war. That's true. End of the world. It's really scary. Especially yeah. when you look at his face and the expression that... 
Indeed, that was heavy. That was very heavy. Yeah. It was really heavy, but it was so good. Yeah. I was really like invested the whole time. I've been like a bit like not really responsive, I guess. Yeah. Well, but that's... but it was really like you can't think. You're just like so focused on it. Yeah, it's very stuffed movie. It's yeah. Very very heavy themes. Jumps around like a, every single Nolan movie uh, jumps around in time. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. Uh, so I was kind of confused at yeah. the beginning, as you noticed. But, but it all comes together. Yeah, in definitely. The end, the piece. I, I like how it's how it's very much focused on like Oppenheimer, mm-hmm. you know, and his 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 view. And I knew going into this movie uh, because I've seen like interview questions about it that it didn't that it doesn't show the, like the Japanese bombings because. Oppenheimer never, you know, he wasn't there to see them. True. So it's all like from his point of view, which I really, yeah, I, I really like, and it's you know very fitting, especially for our times right now. You know, nuclear yeah. nuclear war is closer than it has been for a long time in the world right now. If, if yeah, you're... it's very good. And we, we only see one once the explosion of the bomb, and I, I know all the effects, yeah. all the effects are there's no VFX used. It's all in camera effects, like miniature things. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and and all the you know the flashes that he sees, there's all, all done in camera, which makes them look like very like. Yeah, it did look very good, very. Yeah. In kind of. Like what's the word like like vivid? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it it really feels like it's happening all in front of you. Like yeah. even though we're not like at the cinema, I mean it's just like very yeah. like we're into it so much. Yeah. And I do think that like watching it in the cinema would be like a whole yeah. new experience. Yeah. We got a pretty nice setup here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It yeah. feels like you're com- well completely inside the story. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very, it's very good movie. It yeah, makes it makes it even heavier. Yeah, and the music's great. All the all the performances are great, and yeah, I it's yeah one of the best Christopher Nolan movies I think. Um, very very definitely maybe maybe like the most well done Christopher Nolan movie I've seen. Mm. Probably not my favorite, but. I mean, it's a it's an amazing movie, and I think he has a lot of amazing movies. So anyway, I really like Killian Murphy's facial expressions. You can mm. see that, like in the moments that, like, what have I done? And he really pr- portrayed them so well. Yeah, uh, very good American accent. <laughs> oh yeah, he's British, right? Irish. Yeah. Ir- Irish, yes, Irish. Yeah, yeah, very good. A lot of a lot of very famous people here in this movie. Uh, yeah. I, I don't want to break it up by saying, hey, I know that person, but yeah. I love doing that. Yeah. And I was ashamed that I didn't recognize Iron Man in the beginning. I was like, yeah. what yeah. are you talking about? Thank you for watching. Yes, thank you for watching and I hope you also enjoyed it. And If you came this far, you probably like this reaction, so remember to like and subscribe mm-hmm. uh, if you liked it. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.